We're in Office 365 with Exchange Online. I'm going to show you how to require mobile devices to have a password. So let's first start out by going into our Office Home. And in our Office Home page, you should see the admin icon, assuming you are an administrator. You'll click on that. It'll take you to the Office Admin Center. From here, we'll click on Admin Centers in the lower left, and we'll click on Exchange. Once we click on Exchange, it'll take us to the Exchange Admin Center. On the left-hand side, click on Mobile, and at the top, click on Mobile Device Mailbox Policies. Now, you're going to see a default policy, which is fine. We can edit that unless you have created a custom policy, which you have made the default. So either one, as long as it says it's the default, we'll go ahead and double-click on that because that's the one that's going to affect the mobile devices. So we want to make sure this says this is the default policy. Otherwise, again, not going to work. And then we can click the box that says Security. From here, we've got the option to require a password. And if we leave the Allow Simple Passwords, then that means that that will allow the phone to basically uh, use any short numbers that a lot of the Androids and, uh, of course, Apple allows you to do. If you don't allow that, you can choose to require an alphanumeric password. Now, that will turn off the ability to use any other type of password, uh, such as a uh, drawing on the screen type of password, unless you have a backup alphanumeric password that goes with it. So when you're all done setting up the alphanumeric password, you've got a few other options, such as the minimum password length. I recommend at least 8, but uh, 12 is also uh, something that a lot of companies are going to. You could have how many time sign-in failures before the device is wiped, and I would make that a fairly high number, but uh, you just want to make sure that you don't have uh, people's phones getting accidentally wiped, so maybe 15, something like that. And then you've got the require sign-in device after it's been inactive. You can check that box. And you can also enforce password uh, lifetime, so how long before the password expires and how long before you can reuse a same password previously. So when you have that all set up, just go ahead and click Save.